Simply stand for health report. And joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Madu to tell us about the Democratic Republic of Congo's fight against fistula. The United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, has launched a major fistula repair campaign in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Renowned surgeons from France and West Africa have traveled to the country to perform the surgeries. An obstetric fistula is a hole in the female reproductive organs that is caused by prolonged obstructed labor, leaving a woman incontinent of urine or fishes or both and its victims are often ostracized. Fistula often occurs among pregnant women in low-income countries without access to medical care. It is estimated that over one million women suffer with obstetric fistula globally. However, for every woman that gets on treatment, at least 50 or more go without it. Most sufferers are in sub-Saharan Africa and parts of Southeast Asia. Joining us now live via Skype from the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa, is Diene Keita, the United Nations Population Fund's representative in the DRC. Ms. Keita, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. So tell us, you've launched a major campaign in the DRC to tackle this issue. Tell us what is happening and about how many women are you assisting? Uh, thank you. We are assisting approximately 300 of the most serious cases of obstetric fistula in the country. We have launched a campaign covering Kinshasa, Goma, and Lubumbashi with a series of very, very expert sur surgeons to make sure that all the complex cases can find solution. And uh, fistula is caused by prolonged labor. Also, sexual violence can be one of the causes. What are some of the cases that you see often in the DRC? The thing is, what the cases we see in the DRC, the most frequent cases are from early pregnancies due to early marriage. That's the major cause of violence. That's what I call violence against young women. Now, so all the... Yes. Sorry. Now, UNFPA is uh, addressing this, this problem, of course, helping women get access to the surgery because only surgery can repair the, the fistula. What about when you talk about early marriages, which often is linked to culture? How do you address this issue? Well, the cultural issue is very, very critical. For that, we work, of course, with religious leaders. Uh, with school and community leaders because they really have an important role to play. But this is in the case of prevention because prevention is the most important thing to do. But when they have the fistula already, they hide, those young girls hide. We need to go and recruit them, find them where they are and try to bring them in town to make sure that they can have the first care. And believe me, the most traumatic thing for us is to see that some of them cannot even be uh, so, uh, take a surgery because of malnutrition. And so now, then, because we're running yes. out of time, but I wanted to know, once the women receive the surgery, then what happened to them? Are they susceptible to get fistula again? What is the follow-up of that? The follow-up with that is to the reintegration. That's the key operative word. Psychosocial attention would be given to them and income-generating activity. They can, when they are repaired, they can even have other children and, and live a very decent life. Okay, and finally, uh, what are UNFPA's goals in terms of fistula? Of course, uh, stopping this issue is, is one of the main goals, but tell us what else you are hoping to achieve. What we are hoping to achieve under the leadership of Professor Babatunde Osotimea, the executive director, is to make sure that every girl stay in school and every girl gets the, the, the right to, show, to choose what she needs to have a better life. And that's, it's really, we do care okay. for population. Okay, Dr. Keita, thank you so much for joining us from the DRC. And that was Diene Keita, she is the United Nations uh, Population Fund representative in the DRC. And that's our health report for today. To stay in touch with me for more health news, find me on Twitter at Lina Ormudu. Vincent? Well, Lino, thank you very much. Now, be sure to watch Lina Ormudu's health report every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.